Although state and county health officials will allow school districts to stop requiring students to mask up inside the classroom starting March 12, there's no guarantee the change will take place in Los Angeles Unified, the state's largest district, at that time. In fact, the local teachers' union, with whom the district must negotiate before it can lift its indoor masking mandate, has raised concerns about ending the masking requirement just yet. Shortly after state and county officials announced on Monday, February 28, that they will update their COVID-19 guidelines to make indoor mask wearing in schools optional in two weeks, the head of United Teachers Los Angeles stressed that Governor Gavin Newsom's administration is still strongly recommending indoor masking in schools, though it will no longer require it. County public health officials, too, are strongly recommending continued masking, though will stop mandating it. While declining COVID rates are promising, educators agree with Governor Newsom's statement strongly recommending that masking stay in place in schools, outlet President Cicely Myart Crew. These protocols, like indoor masking, have protected tens of thousands of educators and more than half a million students, along with their families. It is premature to discuss removing these health and safety measures while there are still many unvaccinated youth in our early education programs and schools. LA Unified has an agreement with the union to enforce masking in schools through the rest of this academic year, though the two sides agreed they would meet and bargain over potential changes to this requirement at the request of either party. School Board President Kelly Gons confirmed any changes to the agreement must be negotiated with UTLA. In an email, Gons also stated the district will review any updated guidance from the state and county with a unified zone team of health experts and medical advisors and stressed that any decisions about masking must take into account local COVID-19 conditions. Los Angeles has fortunately seen a We need to take this local context into account, Gons said. Moreover, any changes in our policy on masking would be taken only in consultation with our labor partners, she continued.